I've been looking to upgrade my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to use the Wavelink Mighty EX1 Pro. This is a Wi-Fi 6 AX3000 dual-band gigabit router, and it is a mesh router. So if you get some more other equipment, you can create a big mesh. I have uh, one of their outdoor work, work group bridges, and we're going to make a mesh out of that later on, not in this video. Uh, this is just about this. Uh, I currently have some Eros, and they're just not cutting it. They're, I believe, AX1800s, uh, and this is AX3000, so we should get a performance boost in the Wi-Fi. And uh, that's one of the issues with the Eros. They're just not getting the performance. They have a gigabit uh, fiber internet, and I cannot get the full bandwidth out of those. And this one definitely should because if you look here, it's dual band uh, AX3000 and 2.4 gigahertz up to 573 megabits per second. And the 5 gigahertz is 2 gigabit per second. So definitely this guy is going to cut it where the Eero just is not. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. So, of course, you're going to get the manual. It comes with a nice little quick start guide. You can download the quick start guide. Uh, if you go to the App Store, look for, search for Wavelink. You can find their, their app and do it that way. Or you can just do it through its web interface from your, from your PC or laptop. Uh, very, very nice manual. It's very simple, easy to follow. Uh, kind of walks you through how setting everything up. Kind of LED statuses, what the LEDs mean. And some more information on the back. So, if you want to do some more... Uh, different features you can do all that definitely read it it's worth it because everybody's got a different kind of setup but like for the most part you can just turn it on set your wi-fi password and you're good to go uh, its web interface is 192.168.20.1 so once you get it connected and turned on go to that that website 192.168.20.1 and you can configure everything there or unless you have the app where you can search for it comes with a little quick start guide for mesh so if you have multiple one of these you can create a mesh a nice little cord a little cat 5 cord i think this is either between three and five foot I have my own, so I'm not going to use. But nice that they added this in there because you really need this if you if you if this is new new to you. So I'm going to say it's about uh, probably about about three foot three foot cord. So it's a nice size little cord. Nice that they added that in there. And then of course the router. And I tell you what, it's a nice little size, nice small. It's black, it's sleek, you kind of blend in wherever you want to. Uh, comes with a little power supply, nice little power supply. Four built-in antennas. Nice that they built them in, so you're, they're not going to fall off, you're not going to lose them. Uh, they're just there. Uh, a lot of the Eros and things like that, they don't have external antennas. They perform okay, but you always want external antennas. They get the best Wi-Fi performance. And on the back, you'll see you get a couple different ports here. You're going to get three different Ethernet ports. You're going to get one for your WAN. So this is, goes to your internet. And these two you can plug into. So you want to plug in your TV, your Xbox, or another network switch. You can plug them into there. And that's what these two are for. But this one here is for your internet. So plug your internet in here. And, of course, plug in the power cord. And on the bottom, you get some more information, your MAC addresses, things like that. But all in all, very, very nice. Actually, a really nice router. And these lights here, they're all nice and blue. So it kind of it doesn't like stand out when you turn it on. It's just kind of, kind of hidden there. And the best part of this, let's pull off the little sticker. Let's see if we get the sticker off. Oh yeah, that's the best part of something new. Nice kind of a glossy black, kind of matte in the, between the, the ridges here, but a very, very nice glossy back black, very, very nice looking router. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna plug it in. We're gonna go to its IP address, 192.168.20.1, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. I'll say now connect to your Wi-Fi and look for the uh, Wavelink Wi-Fi and do the 192.168.20.1 and click on the Experience Now button. You'll see it kind of goes through and actually auto automatically configures your Wi-Fi for you. And you can see the detected DCP, but you can change it to whatever you like to. We're going to say Next. Just let it do it automatically. And you can see you can change your region, your time zone, uh, your Wi-Fi name, if you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, and you want to put in a Wi-Fi password. And this password is going to be for your Wi-Fi and to log into the router. So if you need to do admin on the router, remember this password. And it's also, for, like I said, for your SSID, which you can change right there. Well, let's put a password in. And we're going to say save, and it's going to uh, say, hey, do you want to look at the app, the instructions? Just say uh, refresh. Give it about a minute or two. It's going to reboot here and apply your settings. And now go back to the website, and you can see you put in your password. Oop, I typed it in wrong. Let me type one more time. There we go. And say login. And you are in. And see at the top here, a bunch of different options. You can click on those. And that'll get you started. So Wi-Fi. And this lets you change your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi key, your password, uh, change your 2.4 gigahertz settings, your 5 gigahertz settings. I just leave it all default. Uh, but if you want to change things, feel free to change however you feel you need to. And the TWT right there, that's uh, some uh, uh, power saving. You can turn that on. It's kind of neat. And here's your network. So you got DCP. Kind of pick your WAN type. 
And you can do custom MTUs, all kinds of different things. And terminal, just kind of show you all the devices connected and more. It's kind of like the same settings, but just more of the settings, of course, more. So you see, you click on uh, network, you get internet, LAN, static IP. This is where you can do all like your advanced configuration. So there's, it is quite powerful uh, router uh, once you look into like the, the more settings. And so you can do dynamic DSN, quality of service. Uh, but like I said, if you want, just leave it all default and you'll be just, just fine. And here you can change your mode, you can change the router mode, and of course quality of service. And if we look in the wireless, you can turn on guest Wi-Fi, you can change your wireless settings. Uh, same as kind of before. Here's here's everything mesh, so if you want to create a mesh, you can do that. And of course, NetGuardian, a lot of these settings, uh, it's up to up to the individual if you want to use it or not, parental control, NAT forwarding, uh, security, you can play with your firewall, turn some more options on or off. And VPN, but you, if you want to do a VPN, you can do that. It gives you a couple different options in there. Remote access, if you want to do that. And net tools, you can do a network check and diagnostics, uh, set up wake on LAN. And under system, here's where you can do your firmware update. You can look at the system logs. Uh, you can change your password. Uh, firmware update's kind of nice because it automatically go with the internet and look for this uh, updated version of your firmware on your device. So actually pretty powerful uh, in the uh, more settings. Uh, you can do as much or as little as you want. I basically just let it default it and put a password on it, and I'm, I'm happy. It works perfectly fine. I'll go back to home. And now let's do a speed test. So I ran two speed tests, one with my iPhone and one with my laptop. Laptop's about 10 years old. This is the iPhone, and you can see the wavelength, 23% increase in speed and download, and 4% increase in speed and upload. So quite a big difference there. I didn't think the iPhone would make a huge difference because it's got a fairly modern uh, Wi-Fi card in it, uh, but it did give it a 23% increase in download speed. So it's very, very nice. And the next one, I did my laptop. And this one, you see quite the improvement. You'll see 60% increase in download, 50% in upload. And this is like I said, about a 10 year old laptop. So not the greatest Wi-Fi card, but it obviously did make a huge difference just by using this router versus the old one. Uh, so the, uh, the Wavelink really did make a huge difference, and, and the, this is where I use mostly is my laptop. So I think this is where I'm going to get the most benefit from it because it's uh, just such a huge increase. So very, very good job on the uh, speed tests. It's the Mighty EX1 Pro Wi-Fi 6 AX3000 dual band gigabit router. And let me tell you, this guy, he performs extremely well for the price. You really can't go wrong. Uh, I'm kind of really liking the Wavelink company uh, with their wireless equipment. I got an outdoor wireless bridge, and it's fantastic and rock solid. And this guy, I tell you what, the size, uh, the nice glossy black kind of blends in with all your electronics equipment when you put it on the shelf. And it performs very well. And that's I think that's what it's really all about, like the external antennas and everything about this guy. Uh, so you really can't go wrong. Check it out, the Mighty EX. X1 Pro.